Hey, Dave Knight from 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Today was day nine of my t uh, top step trader 30K combine. Uh, I finished uh, with thir up 32 ticks on four trades uh, and I make a new account high. I'm within 700 roughly dollars. $700 of hitting the profit objective. I'm not held to 10 trading days anymore, so gives you a little bit more flexibility. Although today, the woulda, shoulda, coulda trade, I could have added perhaps another $600. I talked about it in the classroom. Go over there to the blog and take a look at the uh, the live link once it's loaded up off of Wistia. I was talking about 4308. You know, and sometimes you just, it, it, it's, it's the concept of that's fascinating. That's the best way that I can explain it. I had a stop in the market at uh, 72, I believe. Yeah, 43.72. And if I would have held it at 78 or 79, so in other words, six or seven ticks, then I would have been able to capture the whole move or at least most of it and ca caught what I was hunting for today in the ranges. Like yesterday we ran what I would say a 10p profit target or a profit range target. Today we again uh, run uh, what I call a 10p profit range target from the open uh, of the Globex open of 44.85 running down. Today that target for me was 43.08. I believe it bottomed out at 4300 today on before I saw it uh, come back off of that. So it is what it is, you know, so it's that's fascinating. So 60 to 70 dollars uh, in, 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 in managing my stop uh, was the difference between uh, putting another 600 bucks into the account today. So I think if you look back at the trade before when you saw me trading two contracts, that's where I capture those those larger profits and if the market wants to run. So the way I managed today's trade was to get out of one contract and the way I would manage that second contract is kind of how I managed uh, all of yesterday. So the I don't worry about the small stuff I guess is what it is and, and you got to be able to just say you know that's fascinating and the story behind that's fascinating is not mine. It comes from Jim Rohn. He was a, a personal uh, motivational speaker and he would talk about um, times that you just have to let it go. Uh, for instance, he talked about uh, being caught in the Los Angeles traffic for three and a half hours and, and missing his flight. Instead of getting flustered and, and flabbergasted and, and upset and, and, and temperamental and all that stuff that goes associated with that, he just would tell himself, now that's fascinating. And I believe there's a lot to be said about that. To be able to say that's fascinating when you're in a position where you say, you know, I could have done better, but you have to file that in into the woulda, shoulda, coulda file, right? So learn from it, and perhaps there's something to learn there that you can that you can build upon. So, for instance, what I build upon is is adding that second contract or the third contract series. Can you successfully all the time trade two contracts at Top Step Trader? No, not on the combine. Not on, there's times where you could add. There's times where you can't. Um, you got to come and get comfortable with that particular situation. I mean, when you only have a $500 max daily loss in a 30k combine, it doesn't take a rocket science to figure out if you have, if you're trading two and you lose, and you have a 10 tick stop on on those contracts. If you lost two trades, in other words, you had four trades overall at 10 10 uh, ticks a pop, you already have lost 40 ticks. Plus commission cost, you're done for the trading day. I mean, you there's no there's no way of coming back from that kind of loss, right? So maybe the better way of doing it is when you uh, you maximize profit in the trading session, and then you can add a contract when you've got a certain profit figure inside that day, so you're not losing five hundred dollars overall. So. Uh, that's to be said, you know, there's all kinds of ways to approach the market. I believe in just in the combine, for the most part, you're going to see me trading 90-something uh, percent of the time, only trading one contract and adding, hopefully, in a position of strength instead of a desperation. Uh, the day before yesterday, uh, you know, I was at, at that point where it was pretty much all in. Uh, I was able to pull out from the abyss, but I used my best 
trading strategy to get myself out of the abyss. So, you know, if you have, and that trading strategy, by the way, the CL pit strategy is roughly a 65% winner as an overall. That doesn't mean every first trade is a winner. What it means is that if I have the ability to trade two or three times at that sucker, you know, I'm going to have a, a, a more times than not, I'm going to break even or make a win out of that. So what I did was, and what I would suggest for you to do is find that best trading strategy. When your back's up against the wall, when your back's up against the wall, use that trading strategy to get yourself out of a hole. And if it doesn't work out, well, at least you took your best shot at it. And you, there's there's nothing to feel ashamed about at that point. So yeah, you're going to make trading mistakes. You know, I've made trading mistakes in the week one when I was going in here. I had to reevaluate how I wanted to go about it. You know, so I went back to some of my other trading rules that I used before to get me back to limiting my trading. So, for instance, let the market run 1p before getting in along in a down in a downtrend to 30 tick stop loss no matter what stop my trading if if I exceed, you know, 30 ticks is kind of like that stopping point now in a low volatile market, I don't want to be involved in the trading. I want to risk. I want to lower my risk. I want to lower my my trades that I have per day I was looking at this combine um, when I first started I thought well I'll go five to seven trades now I've limited myself down to three to five so more, no more than five trades like today I only took on four so I stopped the seven trades I stopped some things that I noticed in the combine that I wanted to try out wasn't working out so be able to adjust on the fly I guess that's the the best way so if you think about it in football terms, you know, you're at halftime and you're making your halftime adjustments. So the, you have to adjust against a certain play that the offense is running against you and you got to shut that down. On the offensive side of the ball, you notice that you can, you can take advantage of a situation that has developed because maybe a certain player has been taken out and you just see that there's something that you can do to make the odds go into your favor. So take that information that you glean that you take from the markets and apply that into your trading always 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 keep learning always I mean I'm a journeyman trader I'll always say that I'm never gonna ever make it to master trader in my lifetime um, maybe after I die and pass on then I can become a master trader at that point but you know it's just never gonna happen stay humble keep the pride where it belongs not in your trading and stay humble in your trading try to maximize your profits as you keep trading through that's what I do uh, and that's guess that's how I got out of it that's why I'm three out of seven coming out of the abyss because you know I, I, I humble myself I reduce my trades I try to take on the best trading strategy I can and I hit the market that way and hopefully I will keep learning on how to successfully move on you know this will be once I get there which I will next time I get to fund it will be my fourth time and my plan is not to come out of funded so what I've been looking and, and beyond that is looking at what I've got here and between that and all the trading journals that I put together is what is the most profitable trading strategy or method what does the market look like when I want to be involved with that market I would suggest you do that same I know what I get into funded. I need to be after 10 trading days. I want that account balance to say 2,000 to 2,500. That's where I want to be the next time I'm, I'm in funded. I still got work to do. Uh, I'm, I'm hopefully you know next week sometime I'll combine. I'll get through the combine, be done with it, and then I'll be moving on to the FTP. All right. Have a great weekend. Have a blessed holiday over the Labor Day weekend. Uh, Stay safe and uh, be safe as a trader as well. Trade your best trading strategy when your back's against the wall. This is Dave Knight here at 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. God bless. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.